Hey guys, it's Jen Coyle, the Community Manager at Medialoot.com. Today we're going to be working with some of our icons in the software GIMP, which is a free alternative to Photoshop. We've actually gotten a question on how to use and work with vector icons within GIMP with a Medialoot resource. Um, just make sure that you're going to choose something with an SVG file type. So make sure you're logged into Medialoot, or if you're downloading a freebie, you can just go ahead and click download. These vector science icons are a premium resource, so I'm just going to go ahead and click download here, unzip the file, and I'll notice that it's in my downloads file, so when I need to access it there. Next step, we're going to go ahead and open GIMP. Okay, so if you wanted to use one icon from our icon set, you can see that there are a lot of icons within this vector science icon set. There's even more if you click on the extra preview. So if we switch back over to GIMP, what I'm going to do is work with this in paths. So first of all, what we need to do is create a new file. Say I want to have my end product be about 500 by 500 pixels. I'm going to click on Advanced Options, and I want to make sure that it's going to have a transparent background. That way it can be exported as a PNG with a transparent background. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And next step is to import the SVGs. Now within the Layers dialog, I'm going to click on the Paths tab here. Then on this little button here is the Configuration, hover over Paths menu, scroll down to Import Path. I'm going to locate the files I just downloaded, so it's in my top level, and then Downloads, here's Vector Science icons, and the SVG file type is going to show up because that is what you can import here. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's selected and then click open. So I know the icon that I want is in here somewhere. So what I'm going to do is click around until I find it. OK, so say I wanted to use a telescope. Now that I found it, I can click on this path and then hide the rest. Next, what I want to do is move it towards the center of the document. So when I go to scale it up, it will be in the center and it'll be easier to work with. So first, I want to click on the Move tool, you can also use the shortcut M on your keyboard. Now this is an important part. What I'm going to do is make sure to click on Move Path, because if we try and move it as a layer, it just will get really incredibly frustrating, and then it will not work. So make sure to click on Move Path, and then you want to click on Move the Active Path. Then within here, I can just go ahead and click and move, just like you would with any other tool. Now it's time to resize this telescope. I'm going to click on the Transform tool, or as known in GIMP as the Scale tool. You can either click on the toolbox here, or you can click Shift-T for Transform. Now there are a couple things that you want to do here. You also want to transform the path and not the layer. And then within the Scale dialog box, click on this Lock button so that you can see, so you can make sure to keep the aspect ratio so it doesn't get all stretched out. Now from here, this is a little not graceful, but just go ahead and kind of drag out towards the diagonals until you get the correct size. Okay, so that's close enough. Now what I'm going to do is just lock that in place by clicking Scale. And from here we have the path that's resized. What I'm going to do now is select the path so I can go ahead and fill it in the next step. So you can do this a couple ways. You can do it by clicking the Path to Selection choice right here, or you can go up to Select and then Select from Path, and you can see the shortcut is Shift-V, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Shift-V here. You can see that the path is selected, and from here I'm going to choose the foreground color that I want to eventually have. Black is actually OK, so I'll click OK. And a shortcut now is to click Command or Control comma, which will fill in the path with your color. To deselect everything so you don't have a bunch of marching ants, you can do Command or Control and then Shift A. You can also do this by going up to Select None, and this is not visible right now because I just deselected everything, so nothing selected. So from here, our path and icon is resized to a much larger size. Uh, whatever you need to use it for, you can now use it, and you've done this all in GIMP. The last step is to export the file. Go up to File, Export, or just click Command or Control E. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm clicking Command E. And I'm going to rename this as Telescope. 
And then I'm going to make sure to scroll down and select file type, and which is already PNG. So I'll make sure to click that, click export, click export again. And now if I go to my documents where I've done this, where I've exported it, you can see the PNG file. And that is all set with very clean lines, no raggedy edges from trying to scale up a bitmap resource. So there you have it. You've now exported a icon um, and scaled it up within GIMP. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips on how to use media loot resources. Have a good day, guys. Bye.